In this question, we have three important principles. Principle 1 explains to us that agreements entered under coercion, fraud, misrepresentation and without lawful object are unenforceable in the eyes of law. Principle number 2 explains to us the meaning of coercion and principle number 3 explains to us that a mere sentimental prejudice does not amount to coercion. Some legal injury must flow in order that a person may be said to have been prejudiced. Facts. Sanjay married Anita under the demise of his, after the demise of his first wife. One day Anita asked Sanjay to transfer his farmhouse, failing which she would commit suicide. Sanjay ignored the threat for a long time and but finally succumbed to it. Later, Sanjay filed a suit for annulment of the transfer. Decide. Whether the suit filed by Sanjay for annulment of transfer will succeed or not. In this question, the correct answer is A. That is, yes, it will, as the agreement pertaining to the transfer is mediated by coercion. The reason why A is the correct answer is, we need to read the principle properly. We will be applying principle number 2 and principle number 1. Principle number 2 defines coercion and all the essentials mentioned herein have been complied with in the facts. And principle 1 clearly provides that agreements entered under the coercion fraud misrepresentation. So it ha over here there has been coercion as defined in principle number 2 so we will say that by virtue of principle 1 and 2 A is the correct answer